What's up guys, I am back here again. I got a new mic, so if my voice sounds different, that is probably why. I'm gonna be trying to fish and try to go fishing for some minnows in my creek. Now squirrel season and all that is over. But that just means that hickory chicken so we'll be starting to come up here pretty soon which is just mushrooms by the way if anybody doesn't know that and fishing is going to be pretty it's going to start ramping up now I ain't got nothing in this creek except for like I don't know what uh, minerals or something that, that's about it but it is flooded. I want to see if I can get anything. But well, first, let's see if there's any kind of tracks. Oh, there's broken glass. That's awesome. There is where I actually had a live trap set a couple of months ago, but I didn't catch nothing. But I'm gonna go and get my fishing poles. I want to see if I can catch any minnows. Okay. This is going to be tough because I can't remember what was the last po that I strung or that has string on it. See, I would pick this po because it, but, um, for one, it ain't strong, and two, I don't think there's gonna be catfish in my creek. Okay, just got string in. I don't think any of these have string in it. I don't think any of these have string in them. Really? I should probably get that. Where do you think you're going? Sorry, but there's where you're gonna stay. So I did find a fishing pole, but I also need to get bait. And uh, the only way I can think of getting bait is by getting worms. So I'm gonna check under my dog's like water bow. And I'm going to use this to uh, put them in. Done. Let's see if I can find any worms. Let's see if I can find any worms. I'm going to look my dogs uh, under a water bowl. You got any worms? Huh? See, it actually looks like your water... Oh, no, that wasn't. I thought it was frozen for a minute. I see no worms. Jackpot. Looked under this garbage bin and found tons of worms. Look at that. Everywhere. Thought I was gonna have to use corn or something. I could probably use a grub too. That should be enough. Ugh. Tight fit. So I'm gonna see what I, what I can catch on this pile I've had for a couple years. That kind of sucks. And uh, in a flooded creek that's got nothing but minerals in it. Might be a few bluegill, but just have to see. I didn't good. My button got stuck. That's not good. Oh, oh. Oh, yep. That's 
normal. Oh, what? That, it doesn't really either. Pick the perfect pot to use. I'm going to put a bobber if I have one. Okay. Now it's time for a worm. All my worms escaped. Uh, it's a problem. Oh, wait. I see one. I think he was going, buddy. Huh? Okay, it's time to go. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I got it caught on a stick immediately. Oh, here we go. What the heck, dude? I got it caught in the same stick. Again. And I guarantee I lost more of them. Oh no, I got it. There we go. I'm currently getting nothing. Uh-oh. I hooked my shoe. It's not going good. Well, I think whenever you're real, Completely pops off. I think you got something. I think you got something bad going on. Well, I'm gonna go throw some knobs, I guess. So, I'm back. And, uh,. Well, to not make this video entire, 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 completely boring, I actually bought out a couple of throwing knobs and hatchets, and uh, I'm going to see if I can get them. Ready? Oh yeah, before I do this, uh, just let you know, manual review or whatever. I am over 18 years old and a trained professional. There's no child endangerment in this. So, I'm complaining with guidelines. Oh, it's stuck in the ground. Oh, it's stuck in the ground. That sucked. Let's get the tomahawk. That sucked. Let's get the tomahawk. How do you even do that? How do you actually even do that? How do you even do that? How do you actually even do that? Left hand throw. Are you kidding me? My non-dominant hand hit better than my dominant hand. Well. If one of these knives don't break by the end of this, I'm gonna be quite surprised. Left hand throw. Are you kidding me? My non-dominant hand hit better than my dominant hand. Well. I suck, dude. I suck, dude.
breath. Told you one of the, one of the knives is gonna break this time. I knew it. One of the knife's handles just broke off. I already knew that one of them was cracked and had a weak spot in it. But I knew it was any time before I broke it. And I did. That kind of sucks, but hey. Old knives. Old knives. They're going to break eventually, I guess. So now. They're going to see if a hundred dollar K bar will throw it off. Do I have this on? Oh, I just turned my GoPro off. That kind of sucks. I got to wait a long time. Okay, here we go. Again, a hundred dollar K bar throwing off. Did better than other knives. This is probably like super dangerous or something. I ain't doing that no more. So, why is the lighting so bad? Okay, there you go. So, as I uh, suspected, <laughs> I did break the handle of my throwing knife. If one of these knives don't break by the end of this, I'm going to be quite surprised. As you can see, it was already cracked, so I knew it was going to happen sometime. There's a crack starting right through here. Crack starting right through here. And it just happened to hit, I guess, the side. And it shattered like that. There was actually, this is not the first time this has happened. This is the second. I This was a pack of three, that an old pack that my dad had. My dad had. And uh, I broke one. And so I kind of knew that, and then I, get, I got a crack in the other. So I kind of knew what was coming what's coming next these knives they have been thrown for about like 10 years like they've been they've been constantly thrown for 10 years so they're gonna break eventually the hatchet i was using though i actually was really impressed it's the only thing i got the stick and it was actually for left-handed throw of all things but it was one that actually came in a cheap and a uh, cheap walmart survival pack so that's nice but i tried to go fishing it didn't work I broke my fishing pole. Yeah, so I broke two things today, so that's that's uh, wonderful. Another wonderful thing is my electricity's out for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because of the high winds, honestly. My electricity's out for some reason. I don't know why. So that's awesome. But yeah, this will be the end of the video. This is going on the second channel. If you haven't, which I know you're going to be seen it on here in the second channel, but I'm currently suspended up my first channel, so, yay. And I'm actually thinking about rebranding. I think about making the first channel a gun review only channel, or the first channel I started, that's 40 subscribers currently, a gun review channel, and making this one more of an outdoor channel. That would help with things. I need, I needed two separate channels anyways, one for guns, one for outdoors. Or maybe I shouldn't stop doing gun reviews altogether. Which I actually might, because YouTube doesn't like gun reviews. Kendall Gray had to delete his YouTube gun YouTube channel. Or at least delete all of his gun videos on his YouTube channel because he almost got banned permanently off of YouTube because of just posting guns. So, thing happened to him, who's had his pull, basically, if you don't know what that means. That means he has traction in the YouTube community. He almost has 2 million subscribers. and make, He makes YouTube lots of money. And they just want to delete them off like that. Then they're definitely going to do it to me. When I only have 40 subscribers. So. That's something to think about. They may even delete this video. Because of the knives and axes being thrown. I don't know. Even though I'm. You know. Not a. Not a. Not a child. Well. Anyways. I'm going to. Uh, probably like. Go to bed. Wait for electricity to come back in. There was a major storm that came in the other day, and uh, electricity was out for like three days. So, like, I'm kind of sick of the electricity being out. But I'll see you guys next time.